Hey guys, back with another app review for you today. Today's app review is on Adobe Photoshop Express. To get this, all you need to do is go into your app store and type in Adobe Photoshop Express. It's a free download, doesn't cost anything. Now let's get into this app review. As you can see here, it's called PS Express after once installed. After installed, just go into it. As you can see down here, you got some tabs, settings, you got upload, online, and edit in Adobe. Settings is your basic settings about the um, app. There's show tips, there's upload usage, Adobe ID, Facebook, auto approved photos, and tweet pick. You can sign into those if you want. You've also got your upload button, so you can upload to Photoshop.com, to Facebook, and to TweetPic. There's also Photoshop Express Online, so you can sign with that if you've got an account. I'm not going to. And you've got Adobe over to the far side. This just tells us um, a few tips on how to use this app. And then you've got your edit button. To edit a photo, now you just want to go select photo. And I'm just going to choose a random photo for you. Once it's uploaded here, I, as you can see at the top, these buttons you've got crop, straighten, rotate, flip. You've got all your exposure, saturation, tint, black and white, contrast. You've got your stretch, soft focus, sharpen. And you've also got your effect and borders. So, it's a pretty nice program. You can add effects. Like so, by just dragging along, tapping, and add all sorts of effects. You can add rainbow effects, uh, your soft black and white. There's your rainbow effect there. After once it loads. It's a very, very nice program. After once you've added effect, just go down the bottom and press OK. So you can change the brightness, saturation, the tint. You can change all that. You can crop it if you want to, you can flip it. So by flipping you can just flick it up, flick it down, flick it to the side, all that kind of stuff to flip it. Very nice. So have a play around with this. After once you've edited your picture, down the bottom you can press this little upload save button. This says save and exit, save and upload, save and post to Facebook, and save and post to TweetPic. I'm just going to save and exit. So this will save straight to your photos on your iPod. And that's just a really short video on a review on Photoshop Express. After once you've edited your photo, it should be in your photos. And saved pictures. As you can see there, and there it is. So that's just a really quick review on Photoshop Express for iPod Touch, iPhone and iPad. It will be better app on the iPhone because you can take pictures and edit them. But it's for any device really. Hope you subscribe. I'll have more videos like this. Uh, and that's about it. Thumbs up this video and view my channel. Thanks.